This video is brought to you by Big Idea Design. They make titanium pocket tools and pins, like the Bit Bar, which is a screwdriver with a pocket clip and bit storage in the handle, and the TPT and the TPT slide, which hold a standard utility knife blade. They also recently launched a titanium EDC wrench and offer pins like the TI Click, TI Arto EDC, and the TI Pocket Pro. To learn more about Big Idea Design, click the links in the description, and you can also use the coupon code BESTDAMNEDC for $5 off any purchase over $50. And if you do, it'll help support the show. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly. First up, we have the announcement of last week's EDC Weekly giveaway winner. That is the Trayvax wallet that was up for grabs and G-Dog Hammer Spring. I told you guys to guess a number between 0 and 1,000. The correct number was 712, and he won with this comment right here. And uh, I'll be sending the Trayvax Summit wallet in the mail. The next thing is you guys seem to really like these weekly giveaways. I have stuff to give away, so I figured why not continue rolling with that. So I picked this. This, if you remember from the Mininch video I did, this is the scissor pin. So one side of this is an actual pin, and the handle on the other side is a hidden pair of scissors that you can cut stuff with. So if you wanna win a Mininch scissor pin, just watch the video, I will announce how you can win it somewhere in the video. Next up, you guys noticed last week that I switched watches during the video, and that was not an accident. I just had them sitting here and decided that would be kind of cool just to see if anybody would notice. I did it because I have a video coming up on these two watches. These are Vare watches. They sent these to me to try out. They surprised me. I've been wearing them off and on for the last week or switching back and forth between them for the last week. And I really like them. I, I really do, but I will do a video on these very, very soon. And the last announcement is the website is updated at the expense of my sleep schedule. I was gonna have a friend help me with it and one night it just bothered me. I failed miserably at redesigning the website and spent another six hours getting it back to where I started. Backups don't always work, guys. The other night, after I finished the Big Idea Design video, I decided I was gonna try again and uh, 7 a.m. Yesterday morning I finished, <laughs> never slept. Yeah, the website isn't finished. It's a work in progress. There's still a lot of stuff that needs to be done. It does not work very well on mobile yet. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. I think that's all for the announcements. So this week for the EDC Weekly, there is no theme. I just went through all of the new submissions, which there are a ton of. And uh, I just picked some of my favorites, the ones that jumped out at me. So let's do the thing. All right, guys, this week I decided to do a bonus submission. So there are six in this video. And first up, we have a submission from Spencer Pardue. And very clearly, Spencer likes quality gear. And he doesn't mind paying for it. So here we go. First up, the knife of choice here in this photo, the highlight of this submission for sure, is the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21 with carbon fiber inlays. That is a Blade HQ exclusive. Beneath that is the Chris Reeve Blade HQ notebook. And then to the bottom of the photo is the hand gray Knox titanium key ring. To the left photo near the top, the other highlight item here is the James Brand Melville carabiner. Below that is his wallet of choice. That is the Ridge wallet in aluminum and gunmetal. And then his flashlight of choice is the Olight S1 baton mini. And finally at the top left of the photo is the Fisher space pin bullet in matte black. And that's all there is to his EDC. It's very compact. What Spencer has to say is Chris Reeve large Sabenza with carbon fiber inlays has been my grail for two years or so, which I recently obtained. Congratulations, man. It's been amazing. Got the notebook for free with the purchase of the knife from Blade HQ. Has been really helpful as I am a construction superintendent and need to write notes down quickly throughout the day. The hand gray key ring looked cool, so I bought it thinking a $19 key ring would change my life. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. Hand gray stuff is, is quite expensive for what it is. The Ridge wallet has been nice as it is super compact. It holds everything I need in a wallet. I really enjoy the money clip. However, my search for a streamlined wallet will continue as the Ridge doesn't tick all of my boxes. The James Baron Carabiner is a really cool design that's main use is a bottle opener. Although being in construction, having an extra work key ring with five to 10 different keys makes this really useful just to clip on my belt loop. The Olight S1 Mini Baton has been a godsend for looking above ceilings for different inspections or just being in a dark area in general. Thing gets super bright and is tiny. Lastly, of course, the trusty Fisher Space Pin takes up about 5%, 0.5% pocket space and is always there when needed, unless it just slips out of your pocket because that's what they do. That's what Fisher Space Pins do. They just disappear. Anyway, thank you, Spencer, for sharing this. This is a really nice EDC, and I'm so happy to see that you got your Grail knife. It's so nice to hear that. Um, I still want to try a Chris Reeve Sabenza. Several people have reached out and offered me to borrow theirs for a while, but I really don't feel comfortable borrowing someone's multi hundred dollar knife and uh yeah but congratulations on finally getting your grill knife 
I am working up towards mine. I'm not anywhere near buying it, but the grail knife for me, as many of you know, is it's the Nirvana. It's just this and this right here, this this drop point Sabenza has kind of that Nirvana look to it. EDC Alabama actually customized one right here. Oh my God, that is like, if ever a Chris Reeves Sabenza was my grail knife, it'd be that one. Anyway, thank you, Spencer, for sharing. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Next up, we have a submission from Duncan Mather. You can find him over on Instagram at outdoor underscore RSA. First up, we have the Wee Knives 703D, which is a really nice knife. I've not tried anything from Wee yet. His secondary knife is a Victorinox Alox Special Edition. He said Inox, but Inox, I think, is only watches. If I'm wrong on that, I don't know of any Inox Swiss Army knives, so... I don't know, but it is a special edition Victorinox. He also carries a Beretta leather wallet and his watch of choice is the Seiko SNE 435 Patty certified dive watch. To the left of the photo is the Field Notes Expedition notebook and he also uses a Field Notes pen. And below that, at the very bottom of the photo, he has a Night Eyes Espiner and on that he has what he said was a custom snake knot and a 357 Magnum case in a leather strip. It's just a little, little keychain fob. He also carries the Coast G19 as his flashlight of choice he has the LG Q6, which is his phone, and he also wears a Patagonia Truckers medium peak hat. Duncan says, I'm a university student and I always carry some sort of knife with me and these two options is all I need. I switched between the Wii knife and the Victorinox. The wallet was a gift and has my name stamped in the leather. I also never leave the house without my Truckers peak. Can relate. I don't have that one. I have had that one. But now I can't, I can't leave the house with this. I couldn't find this this morning and I about freaked out. This one just, there was something about it that spoke to me and no, it wasn't the wood and the leather. You guys think that wood and leather is all I like. I like this, it speaks to me. I chose this because it seemed very modest and real. I don't know, again, I chose this because it doesn't look like he went and threw everything he owns and puts all the best stuff together. Maybe he did, I don't know. But it just seemed like he just dumped what he had right then and there, took the photo and it just, I don't know, this is what happened. But I do like this watch. So I got the SUN065. This is another Patty watch and uh, I like that watch quite a bit. Anyway, thank you, Duncan. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Next up is a submission from Matthew Dickey Dickinson. This is actually one of the moderators over in the Discord. I didn't know that when I chose him, but uh, I, I kind of assumed it was him when I saw it just because I saw that Bradford knife and he had just finished talking about how he switched to a fixed blade for everyday carry. But anyway, first up we have a Zippo, just a standard Zippo. Below that is his Leatherman of choice, which is the Leatherman Wingman. And then next to that is the holster for his knife of choice, which is the Bradford Guardian 3 Sheep's Foot in M390 with natural micarta scales. Next to that is the Blue 47's Prion 2, that's his flashlight or pin light of choice. His carry of choice is the Gen 5 Glock 19, Below that is his iPhone, which actually isn't pictured, it's not in the case. He has an iPhone 6S Plus in a Davis case, leather wallet case. To the left of the photo, he doesn't mention any of it, but he has a paracord lanyard with two carabiners and a whole bunch of keys on it because, wow. Wow, Dickie, wow. Dickie says, the keys are just standard boring keys. I found that using a double carabiner system works well for me for ease of access. The stuff I use more is closer to the front and the stuff I use less is at the back. The lighter is because I occasionally partake in a social cigarette and if I'm going to bring a bad habit, I should at least bring a lighter. The multi-tool is used the most. I love my Leatherman Wingman. It's by far the most handy piece of EDC gear I carry with me. Anywhere from cutting my children's straws at a restaurant to cutting smaller gauged wires at work. My favorite piece of gear is my Bradford Guardian 3. It has to be the most convenient way to carry a fixed blade with the horizontal sheath. The heat treat on their M390 is amazing and holds a stupid sharp edge for what feels like an eternity. The flashlight is a 4.7's Prion 2, 2 AAA flashlight. It has a total of five modes with seven total functions. And, and with all of those options, I keep it set to the low high mode. Battery life is good for how much I use it at work. The phone case wallet is all right. It's lasted me a while, but the edges are starting to wear out where it's touched the most. It's card holders stretched a little bit too much for me to justify getting another. However, it has protected my phone just as good as anyone can ask. The gun is a Gen 5 Glock 19 and is carried for obvious reasons. Thank you, Dickie. And yeah, that, that Guardian is, is really nice. I like it a lot. I just got an Ontario Rat 3, so I won't be getting another fixed blade for a while, but that. If I were to carry one every day, it'd probably be that. I will never carry a Rat 3 every day. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Dickie. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway, and thank you for keeping my Discord a partially respectable place to be on the internet. Mainly just telling people not to talk in the photos channel, but Thank you. Next up, we have a submission from Kevin Freeman. This one I picked because it's it's simple, compact, but it's also different enough. It's got stuff I've never seen before. 
and uh, I, I can appreciate that. First up, the flashlight of choice here is the Olay S1R Baton 2. Next to that is his tungsten wedding ring, which he says was a $20 cheapo on Amazon. He has an inventory bolt action pin at the bottom of the photo, and his watch of choice, at least one of his watches of choice, is the Belova Precision Chronograph 96B175. On that, he has a gray NATO strap. Next to that is his other watch of choice. He says he switches between them depending on the occasion, and I don't know how to pronounce this. Jung Hans, Jung Hans Max Bill watch. He has a leather NATO strap on that one. His wallet of choice next to that is the Dango Dapper wallet in gold whiskey brown. Next to that is his key situation. He has a Leatherman style PS, which he says he got as a groomsman gift. He has that attached to his keys using the Exotac free key system. At the top of the photo, the last thing actually pictured here is the Fnatic Edge Omen, which is stonewashed with bronze scales and stonewashed hardware. He says ordered and customized from Fnatic Edge 2.0. The last thing not pictured here is his Google Pixel 2 XL, which he carries in a wood D brand skin, quote, for that clean white plus wood look. You mean that Ikea look, bro? Because that's what Ikea is, white plus wood everything. I'm kidding, but not really. I mean, Ikea is white plus wood on everything. That was actually what I was gonna do with my office, so I can't, I can't hate. <laughs> anyway, Kai says, I work in an office in the cybersecurity industry, but I find myself using everything I carry incredibly often. I use the inventory pen to take notes at work and church, sometimes swapped out with a Fisher Space pen with a fine tipped refill. The flashlight is especially useful in the winter when the sun sets early. I'll sometimes go on a walk after work with the family. So it's nice to have some light for when it gets dark. I love that the Olight has a magnetic back so I can stick it inside of my car when I'm working on it. I got the Omen knife as a birthday gift for my wife and I love it, even if I've only used it for opening boxes here and there. Hopefully I'll never have to be in a situation where I'd have to use a knife defensively, but it adds at least some peace of mind to have one on hand. I'm amazed by how often I use the small Leatherman style. I got it from one of my best friends as a groomsman gift and I've carried it for years now. The added convenience of it being TSA friendly is a huge plus and since I carry a dedicated folder, I don't need a multi-tool with a blade. I switched to the Dapper wallet about two years ago from a bulkier bifold. It caused me to cut down on the number of cards I carry and has stopped me from stuffing receipts and other useless things into my wallet. The only issue I've had with it is that it can be rough on certain pant pockets since the border of the wallet is metal and part of it just juts out a little bit. It's as if it was designed to destroy pants, yes. I wear a cheap tungsten band as a wedding ring since my platinum ring would scratch too easily. I love my Pixel 2 XL and have had virtually no issues with it. I bought it for the camera and boy does it deliver. I rotate between the two watches depending on the occasion. Jung Hans is my standard watch for work and I switch it out with a band for a more formal one to dress it up when I need it. I love the versatile minimalist look and appreciate the history behind its design. The Belova Precisionist is a hefty watch, but it comes much more wearable without a metal bracelet. I've become a big fan of NATO straps and the subtle gray strap on such a convoluted looking watch helps to tone it down a bit while remaining casual and comfortable. I've been following the show for a couple of months now and it's great to be inspired and get new ideas for gear and see how others carry the gear they love. Thanks for making awesome content and looking forward to seeing more in the future. Kai. Thank you, Kai. And uh, that knife is is quite nice. It looks very much like a Wii design. If I were to, if, if I glanced at that, I would say Wii other than the pivot not having that Wii logo on it. Um, but it does kind of look like a Wii design. I love the look of that knife actually. I love the geometric design and all the, the shapes to this. It's just a really nice knife. I like it a lot. And I also like that pin a lot. It's really cool. And I agree about the dapper wallet. Metal and hard wallets just tear up pants, but sometimes I just like them. It's just, there's a little give and take with everything, right? Anyway, thank you for sharing, Kai. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Next up, this submission is from another Kevin. This is Kevin TR. You can find him on Instagram at ICH underscore Hellstorm. And this one I chose mainly because a subscriber after last week's show decided they wanted to send me their Benchmade 943 and UPS just decided they don't want to deliver it. It's just somewhere in the ether. It's, it's gone. First up, we have the Benchmade Osborne 940. The watch below that is the Orient Bambino. He wears that on a navy black and gray NATO strap. He also carries a blue ice Zippo with a brass insert, and his pen of choice to the left of the photo is the Keras Custom Fountain Pen, which is on top of a Midori Traveler's Notebook. To the far right of the photo is his Victorinox Cadet Alox, and above that is the Challenge Coin Poker Chip. To the bottom of the photo are his keys, which he doesn't say much about, but there is a Hoonigan keychain and a continue mission keychain. Kevin says, this stuff has traveled the world with me while in the Navy. The 940 was an amazing Christmas gift by my fiance and the poker chip was given to me by my commanding officer. That's all he has to say. Thank you for sharing this. It's a really nice carry. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway, um, but just actually just now looking at this continue mission made me think 
of a man. I did not know him. I did not even really know of him, but I saw it pop up all over Instagram this week. And uh, there was a guy who was CMFTW. He also went by Big Kitty or Big Kitty FTW. He had several names. He had a YouTube channel as well. Um, he passed, a sad story. I don't know exactly what happened, but he was a knife maker and he had tons and tons of friends in the industry. And I uh, just wanna say my condolences to his family and to all who knew him. He apparently was a really great guy and uh, I'm sorry for your loss. The sixth and final submission this week looks like something I would take a picture of because it looked like everything I was carrying at one point and it comes from Lassie Passy. You can find him over on Instagram at Passy Puko, I think. Anyway, first up, he has the Benchmade proper with a clip point and micarta scales, which is one of my personal favorite knives right now. He has an audacious concept copper smiley bead attached to that on a lanyard. And to the left of the photo is the O'Keefe's Lip Repair Lip Balm. At the bottom of the photo is his utility knife of choice, which is the big idea design titanium pocket tool. Gasp, I talked about them again. Holy crap, what are we gonna do? <laughs> You guys, you kill me, you kill me. Attached to his organizer is the Rovivon Aurora A2. Oh my God, I talked about Rovivon again. What am I gonna do? He uses a Nitize Espiner to attach that to his organizer. He also has a Maker Set USA Field Pin Compact Brass, which is inside the organizer. And then the two leather pieces you see here, one is a self-made leather card holder, which he carries his cards and cash in. And he also has a proper slip, which is his own take on a slip for his proper. And that is all in this submission. Now he has a lot to say about it. So Lassie or Passy or Passy Puko or whatever his name is. He says, I did a quick Friday pocket dump to see what I've got. And this is what I found. Did you not know what was in your pockets before you did the dump? Most of the stuff you see here have already been talked about, so everyone knows what they are, but here's a few words anyway. I fell in love with the proper a few weeks ago and bought it as it is a perfect size, super sharp, and good looking, non-threatening EDC knife. I've carried it for the past few weeks and it's just awesome. I might make copper scales to make it more unique. And hey, it's copper. The proper in my brass field pin lives in a proper slip I made with my own little freakishly large hands because I couldn't afford to order the Hitch and Timber version at the time and I'm actually very pleased about the outcome. Also my most frequently used two cards and shitloads of cash out <laughs> house themselves in a card holder wallet I made myself one evening. The audacious concept copper smiley bead hanging in the end of the proper is my first ever bead I've bought and it's gorgeous and heavy because again, copper. I'm struggling today, this, this congestion is killing me. TPT as we all know is perfect for the smaller everyday tasks and I use it for opening boxes at work or opening bottles anywhere but at work, etc. I also love the idea that with or without the TPTs on insert, I can take it with me on a plane. The Rovivon Aurora is amazingly powerful rechargeable flashlight that has made all of my previous bulkier flashlights relocate themselves from my pocket to my car or backpack or wherever. The Aurora that I carry is the steel version because even though it's small, I still like that it has some heft to it. So there you go. That was a quick tour through my pockets. Thanks again, Taylor, for your awesome work with the best MEDC. Have a nice weekend and you have a nice weekend as well. And of course, I'm gonna like this EDC because I carry at least three out of all of these items. I have the Benchmade proper. I've been EDCing it for nearly a month now. I carry the Rovivon Aurora H A4, not the A2, pretty often. I carry a TPT or TPT slide. You guys know that. It's nicely put together. I like that you made your own pieces of gear here. I've tried leather work. I am not good at it. I just, I'm not. I've tried it so many times and I just can't make it work, man. So kudos to you. Thank you for sharing. And you now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. So now I guess it's time to tell you how you can win the Min Inch Scissor Pin. All you have to do is comment down below and tell me what you think next week's theme should be. I'll pick the one I like the most and the first one to offer that suggestion wins the scissor pin. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That's gonna do it for this week. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you want to be entered to win that massive monthly giveaway, all you have to do is go to edcw.co, submit your EDC there, and you're entered if you're featured in one of these videos on Instagram or on the website, then you get an additional entry and that's all there is to it. So just submit your EDC. If you do, you are entered to win a Hitchin Timber Card Caddy, a Griffin Pocket Tool, a Rovivon Aurora Flashlight, a Keysmart Rugged, a Yellow Birch Outfitters Organizer, and a Big Idea Design TPT. If there is anything in this video that you are interested in, just be sure to hit those links down below. If you do and you purchase anything, it helps keep the lights on here. It's just a little affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a little bit of a kickback. And if you wanna help even further, you can go to patreon.com forward slash best damn EDC. 
Also, be sure to follow us around the web. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BestMEDC. You can find me, Taylor Martin, on Twitter and Instagram at CasperTech. And until next time, carry on.